Good morning guys, in this episode today, another vlog, um, I'll be going to my first NFL game ever um, and also have an interview with ITV, I'm really blessed to have this opportunity, can't wait to go see my first NFL game, um, I'm getting a chauffeur to Tottenham Stadium, so i see you guys in a bit. Got myself some McDonald's. I'm now about to make my way to the chauffeur. And I have a three hour drive to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Very good. You can come to this side here. Thank you. Now the chauffeur. Make my way to Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. You remember me? Yeah, I'm back. Timmy, okay. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm back. Tune in to see what I'm committing. Coming up soon. Yeah. First okay. of all, we're going to see my guy come on Thursday. He's trying to see me there too. He's going to pull the out as always. And leave it there. I'm here at the stadium. Get ready to go in. Um, going to be watching the game. My interview with ITV is around 3 p.m. So they're going to come out and collect me from my seat. Um, I'm going to watch the game. I'm going to be in the game. So they're going to come and collect me from my seat. I'm going to be in the showroom, do my interview and then go back to watching the game. Indeed, silence the crowd for a while. And it looks like quite a bad injury down there. We hope he's okay. And I'm delighted to say, though, that Daniel Ackham Cunley is with us now at the moment. And you've been watching the NFL show on Friday nights. And if you haven't, what's wrong with you? Because it's great fun. <laughs> but we've been tracking Daniel's progress. He's part of the NFL Academy up in Loughborough. Uh, a great story. Uh, great to see you in person. Great to see you as well. uh, I mean, you're just such a baby face. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, um, tell everyone what you're doing at the moment and how you got there. Tell us about the Academy. Yeah, so the Academy is a system um, here in the UK where we have a structure of 16 to 19 year olds have opportunities to come and play football, learn a sport. Obviously in European countries, the majority of us graduate a core around 16. So we have the opportunity to have two to three years to learn the game of football. We have great coaches, we have great support from the NFL and it's just an amazing opportunity in general. So as a kid you played rugby? Yes. And you play basketball. How yes. long have you been playing uh, American football for? So I've been only been playing for two years, going on three years now. What? Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a very short amount of time. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's amazing. Um, because the end goal is to, to make a career, and it's honestly, yeah, but there's a, there's a pathway. So, what's the next step from the academy? What happens next? Yeah, so the next step is for me to make my decision next week, Thursday. Um, my top schools right now is Clemson, Old Miss, Oklahoma, Baylor, and Miami. Um, I have that doesn't come up from Thursday, so I'm absolutely excited over the world to let everyone know I'm going to be committing and taking my talent suit for the next three to four years. Um, and then after that, ball out, um, plan is to get drafted, go to NFL and just keep on doing what I'm doing. You've been very humble because you've had 31 scholarship offers. Obviously, this guy's the real deal, isn't he? He's good. No question about that. He said taking his talent like the great LeBron James. <laughs> and we know he is the LeBron James of the NFL Academy. We are so proud of this guy. This guy had came from, started playing the game only two years ago. But right now, he's one of the elite players at his position, not in the UK, in the entire universe. And so we cannot wait to see what happens with Daniel. We're rooting for you. We're so happy for everything that you've done. You brought so great, great pride and joy to the NFL Academy in the UK. And, and, and a great lesson to all of you watching at home at the moment, thinking, I quite fancy having a career in NFL. It's possible, Daniel, isn't yeah, it? It's possible. Whatever age, as long as you're athletic, that's what you need. Be coachable, come into the academy, do the right things, and you have a very nice shot to make it. And you heard that from the baby-faced destroyer, <laughs> Jason Fletcher. Thanks, Daniel. <laughs>
Fantastic, what a great story. And uh, Jason and I... Obviously, what a confident start from the Jags, going for the two-pointer as well, nice. No question about that, Craig, but I want to talk about my main man, Trevor Lawrence, and the play he made. He stood in the pocket with the pressure coming into his face. It was a very difficult thing to do. And he made a strike to Zay Jones, even though he knew he was going to get hit in the mouth. The Jacksonville Jaguars are out here playing with immense confidence right now. I want everyone to go in their garden, though, run backwards, jump in the air, and then try and get two <laughs> feet back on the ground, because it's incredible. Uh, Daniel, the athletic athleticism we see out here from these big men is outstanding. Yeah, it's amazing. The big men are just getting more athletic each year. It's like, it's crazy starting to see skill guys starting to become more, more lengthy. Their verticals starting to get higher. Now these big guys starting to meet and running full fives. <laughs> I mean, full six. It's like it's like a CB game. It's like an Avenger. So it's actually amazing to see. Um, let's talk to you while we have you here. Just about what your plans are. Where you're Obviously, this is what you want to do. You want to yes, play in the NFL. But it's not just about that, is it? No, it's not just about that. I, I want to be able to come into this, um, play the sport, learn as much as possible. Um, I want to help as many people out as I can. I really want to grow the sport in the UK. Like, I feel like the best athletes are the athletes who are not known. That's what I believe. I feel like there's so much in talent in Africa, in Europe, everywhere. Like, I feel like we need to start reaching out to all these different areas in, in the world and start exploring. Like, us having 17 practice squad players is amazing. There's just another opportunity for us to have players from different worlds and different places to come onto the NFL practice squad and get that experience. Education <laughs> for free! For <laughs> yeah. free! Of course, of course, of course you have a education. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, of course, so the plan is to obviously um, be able to get drafted within my third year, um, get my master's, come back from my MBA probably, and then obviously it's for education. For the education and all the types of education that college life brings yes. you. It's fun. You have a good time. Yes. <laughs> so, so good to see you. Take care of yourself. Thank Flat you so much. <laughs> Great. Ain't nothing Jacksonville. What an impressive drive that was yes, from Trevor Lawrence. Daniel, that's brilliant. Thanks again. Yeah. Thanks for staying. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's almost like you media trained him yourself. All the right talking points. The Africa one. Thanks, Daniel. Fantastic. Oh, I need that tea. Yeah. Olga. national TV it's an amazing experience um, did really well watching the NFL game was absolutely amazing first NFL game ever um, the Jazz came on top at the end of the day it was a great game um, it was a great day so thanks to NFL NFL UK for having me ITV for having me so I see you guys in the next video